Um, I bought these uh, two oilers yesterday on the flea market. So I'm going to attempt to try and clean them up a bit. Plus I did purchase this other oiler, um, which the paint job is a little bit worse for wear. So I'm going to attempt to, to clean all three of them up. Um, and have a look. So take a look at the condition. Um, 1964. So it's had a bit of a life. Um, the Singer sewing machine one. So just take a look at the condition and we'll give them a clean up. We'll come back and then we'll decide what colour we're going for. All right, I'll see you in a second. Right, guys, we're back. Um, we've given it um, a bit of paint strip. I've used the very last 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 of what i've got so that's all gone now i need to get some more but it's done a good job i've managed to get most of the paint off and um, just need to clean up the bottom of that a little bit more um the uh most all the paints come off inside the writing um yeah 1964 on that one um there's still a little bit of paint in there i couldn't quite scrub it off with the the paint strip i didn't quite get in there but yeah they come out good we still got that uh, din i saw that uh, uh, armando did one of these and he filled and sanded the holes i think i'll just turn the pot the other way around <laughs> and um yeah so not looking too bad so now it's just deciding what color uh, what color paint to go for so i'll have a think on that and i'll give it a little whirl and we'll see where we end up. So I'll see you in a minute. All set up for paint now. Um, I must have to say, um, it was very handy of a scout crafter to tell me to keep some of this copper wire from the fuse board. Um, it has come in handy, I have to admit. So thanks for the top tip, mate. Much appreciated. Hopefully we'll see you after the paint. Yep, definitely a great idea, John. Definitely. <laughs> thanks a lot for that wire definitely helps right guys um, we're done um, we, we had a little bit of spray paint in there um, I put a few clips in showing you what I was up to this afternoon and um, so a little bit of spray painting they've come out quite you know reasonably well um, I'm not really very good at painting to be honest it's not my not my strong point but a little two little West Coast oilers um, this one's 1964 um and then we've got this uh little little um singer sewing machine little one which is probably my favorite it's really cute so yeah um two little oilers guys um i don't know what you think about those i think they're all right i mean that one I, I, it didn't seem to set and i kept touching it because i couldn't help myself so i've not put the spring back yet because i keep touching it and making it you know i can't help myself i'll wait till tomorrow and i'll put the spring back in it but this one's all back together. Uh, so, yeah. So, tell me what you think about those. They look nice on the shelf. I'm not going to put oil in them. just going to stick them on the shelf. Because they seem they don't seem to do as well as a simple plastic one. You know, like, like you know, a three-in-one. I, I think that's just more practical than those. But, but um, you know, each to their own. Um, it's becoming in the UK now to the autumn. The uh, fall, as they call it in the US. Um, and the leaves are starting to change. So I'm going to insert a few clips of the garden showing the, some of the um, trees in the garden in pots are starting to show their autumn colours. So I thought somebody might be interested. I certainly am. A little bit of a memory to look back on. So I'll insert some pictures and um, I wish everybody a good evening. All right, thanks for watching if you've got this far. Bye. You have to admit, guys, the fall is a nice time of year. I mean, look at that tree in front of my house. Beautiful. I mean, I do love the autumn when the colours come out on the trees. I'll show you some of my other maples, how they're looking. And look at this one as well. Isn't the colours beautiful? Absolutely stunning colours. This is probably been the nicest year this year for, for colours. It's been quite an Indian summer. It's been quite mild. Yeah, really nice. I mean, the red on that one is pretty good as well but wow isn't it nice guys we've only got one pair left guys 
the birds and all the rest of it have, have pretty much uh, demolished the pairs and we've had a few what have dropped but yeah one pair left guys uh, not looking too bad this year these haven't started to change yet the ones at the front always seem to change colour I mean this one's starting to a little bit just on the edges there it's starting to go the reds but this one hasn't started yet so I don't know what's going to happen with this one this year but yeah I just thought I'd have a quick overview of what's going on in the garden something a little bit different the tomatoes are pretty big harvest but they're not a red tomato they're a they're a yellow tomato as you can see just there they're a yellow tomato but isn't that the so they're then they're, they're not sure if all these are going to ripen in time i mean they're kind of splitting a lot of them but yeah yeah not too bad but yeah plenty of them though i have to admit guys big harvest this year.